welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be back on YouTube with this series called At Home with Melissa. In this series, I'm going to show you some interior decor tips and tricks to just elevate your standard of living at home. I'm so inspired by hotels, boutique hotels especially, and I kind of wanted to bring some of those elements and feelings back into my home. I'm going to be doing some coffee table styling, some tablescaping, and I'll also be showing you some tips and tricks to be doing in the kitchen, bedroom and bathroom to just make sure you have that hotel style living. If you're interested in luxury interiors and luxury living, this is the right channel for you, so continue watching. So first, I'm going to show you how to dress a coffee table. Coffee tables can be quite difficult to style. I myself have found it tricky in the past, but what I've done is I've created a checklist of things to help me create a well-curated coffee table. Books, I always ensure that I have a great coffee table book, one that is more aesthetically pleasing than one you can read. I always feel like it creates a great base for any coffee table. Plants and flowers, I always love to have some fresh life on the coffee table. It's really great if it's in a vase too because it creates some height. Objects. Now, there's gonna be several objects that have no use but look aesthetically pleasing. I always opt for something that catches the eye. Tray. I always love to have a tray to include some candles or a reed diffuser and really just to tidy things up and make the table look well curated. I also like to have some functional objects that hide things such as money, remote controls, candle scissors. I always feel like it just helps to bring the table together and not look so cluttered. So this is a black and white marble table. So what I'm gonna do is take some inspiration from it and keep things quite monochromatic. I'm gonna introduce some color in the flowers. So first I'm going to start off with this book. It's black and white. It does say food and drinks and infographics, but today we're using it for height. I'm now gonna put another monochromatic book on top of it. I'm going to introduce this beautiful object. It's actually really heavy, but I love the brass coloring to it. I feel like it adds some more character to the table. And I'm going to include this candle. It's such a beautifully smelling candle. And sometimes when you leave a candle out, it can lose some of its scent. With the glass dome on top of it, it's gonna make an inclusion and keep all of the scent in. And when you want an injection of the scent, you can just wave it around the room. I'm also gonna include this glass cube just because it looks cute. I actually have no reason for it to be there, but it adds more character to the table. So I'm using this tan tray. Actually on the outside, it looks quite dark, but inside it's quite tan. This is one of the things that I was talking about, about decluttering the table. So I'm gonna put some functional items in this tray. So tissue box, it's always nice to have a tissue box, especially if you have lots of guests around and if they've got a runny nose like I do, they can be blowing their nose whenever they need to. I'm also gonna put some room spray in here. I'm also going to include some coasters in here. This is another functional item that can look quite nice, but you wanna make sure that people are using coasters in your house because it's your house. <laughs> Don't know what else to say. And I'm also going to include a reed diffuser as well. So I have this dish, it's really beautiful, but I'm gonna use it in a functional way. I really don't like to see remote controls and things lying about, so I like to have a functionally pretty item that they can sit in. So I'm gonna be putting a remote in here. I'm also going to be putting some scissors for the candle and a snuffer in here too, because you wanna make sure you look after your candles. And I just think that looks way more well put together. The whole thing about this lifestyle is that you want to look like it's effortless. Like, you want to be able to do the things that other people don't think about. Do you get? Right, so that already looks really well curated. So another thing I want to include is another little tray to include some coins in, but you want it to look pretty. So I've got this little leather tray that I'm just going to put together. And even though it's quite a muted color, I feel like it does add some character to the table. So I'll just place that here. And lastly, I'm going to put a vase here. So I'm gonna include some flowers. I'm gonna use some hydrangeas. They're gonna bring a little bit of color to the table just to give it a pop of color. I do like things quite monochromatic, but this will give the perfect pop of color.
And here's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, so stay tuned to see what's coming up next week.